You know how when you visit a country for the very first time, you tend to look a few things up, see what that place is all about, see what's going on there? Well, one of those things that I like to look up is, is there anything in this country that's going to eat me, like cannibals or lions and tigers and bears? Lions and tigers and bears. So Laura and I had started dating and I came to Switzerland for the very first time. And before I came, I was doing a little bit of research and I was researching bears. Are there bears in Switzerland and are they gonna eat me? And this is how I ran into the story of M13, Switzerland's last bear. So this weekend, Laura and I decided to make a road trip down to M13's home in southern Switzerland. Historically, the brown bear has made its home in the Alps, but as you can imagine, a large bear like this with big teeth and big claws poses a lot of danger to humans, and so the brown bear has been hunted pretty much throughout history. And then with the invention of modern guns, it became much easier to shoot a bear. So the bear population in Switzerland has continued to drop, and then in 2012, there was only one bear living in Switzerland, and that, of course, was M13. M13 lived in this Swiss valley and was quite well loved by the Swiss population. However, he started to become a little bit of a problem. You see, M13 is a wild bear and he's supposed to live in the woods, but then he started to wander into more populated areas. He broke into several houses and started to follow people and different bear deterrent measures were used and nothing seemed to work. The hope was that in 2012 when he went into hibernation, he would kind of forget some of his bad ways and go back to nature, but then in 2013 when he woke up he was worse than ever. He was caught on a school playground and fears arose and it just seemed inevitable that at some point there was going to be an interaction between M13 and a human and it wasn't going to be good. So the decision was made and M13 was shot. And then they stuffed him and they put him in this museum right behind me. So today we are going to go pay him a visit. You know, I've known about M13 for quite a while now, and you might say I'm a little bit of a fan, but then going into that museum and seeing him sitting there, even though that display was really pretty and really well done, seeing him sitting there all like stuffed and whatever was just a little bit sad. But you know, M13 wasn't Switzerland's last bear. M13 wasn't even a Swiss bear. He was an Italian bear. In fact, the M13 is an Italian code given to their bears. He was part of an Italian program to reintroduce bears into Italy. He just happened to walk across the border and then start living in Switzerland. We're gonna build the wall, we have no choice. So if M13 wasn't Switzerland's last bear, does Switzerland have a last bear? Well, as it turns out, Switzerland's bear population has slowly been whittled down until there were just a few bears left in what is now the Swiss National Park. So we came up to the Swiss National Park to find Switzerland's last bear. This is my first time coming to the Swiss National Park and it's quite amazing. I mean, most of Switzerland has like gondolas and cable cars going to the top of every mountain, but this place feels so much more remote. Just back in this valley, it's just woods and mountains and a dirt road. It's really quite cool. And it's because this place was so remote that the last of the bears were able to hide out here. I mean, going back a couple of hundred years, hunting bears was a pretty impressive feat. I mean, if you could bag a bear, you were really something else. So slowly the bears in this area were hunted to extinction until there was one bear left and he was killed on this mountain right behind me here. And then of course they stuffed him and they, uh, Put him in this museum right behind me. You know, I'm kind of noticing a trend here. So back to the original question, are there any bears in Switzerland? Well, yes and no. No, there are no bears that live in Switzerland, but yes, there are actually quite a few bears that come and visit Switzerland for a short time and then leave. So it is possible that you could run into a bear in Switzerland, although it's, pretty unlikely. 